Hi, welcome to this episode. So in our previous episode, we were able to fetch our articles, so a few articles from our database and display them at the home page of our application. So, and this was what we did. So we included the database connection file, which is the DB connect, which has the handle to our database. Then using that handle, we prepared a statement, a request, to our database management system and asking it to fetch to fetch three articles from our database and order them by the date of creation in the descendant descending order so once that done we fetched all the articles as objects so that we can be able to access them by using the arrow accessor like this so to loop through the articles we used php shorthands like this one and then we also use the php shorthand to display the content the various parts of the content such as the cover so we use the echo shorthand to display the cover the title the publication date and the author's name so once that's done it is time for us to think of how to access the actual single article so far if you look at the link here on the title we can see that it points to a page called single.php so it means if we click on the link on the article we should be redirected to the single page and indeed there, here it is but at this point we can see that the single page is still displaying our dummy content we placed in when we're designing the website so to get our actual article we need to pass a special information to this page telling it a little bit about our article so that once we get on that page so let me open it single.php so once we get on this page the page should be able to know that okay we are trying to access so 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 article then let me go into the database and fetch everything about that article and if you remember when we were creating our table our articles table i emphasized on the id which is supposed to be a unique element and it is auto incremental it means it shouldn't repeat we shouldn't have two articles with the same id this is already a, a crucial information we can use to uniquely fetch or identify our articles so if you could from the uh, our home page or index page pass in that data so we pass the id of the particular article to the single page and once the single page has that id it could be like okay let me go into the database fetch the article with the id so so and knowing that that article is unique we are good to go so we are sure of getting that particular article so let's implement that to make that happen we pass to the URL which is the single.php what we call a query string so to pass a query string you succeed you pass after the dot the extension the dot PHP extension you place in a question mark then after the question mark you now write the query string name so in our case we want to pass in the ID then you add the equals to sign and what would that id be as you could guess already the id has to be a dynamic id from the database so that's the articles actual id so if we do article arrow id then we are passing the id generated by the database then we are passing it to the url so if we reload now our index page so if i go back to the home page and then pass over the mouse over the article title you could see right at the bottom left corner that it passes an id of one to the single.php page so i have to do the same thing to the link on the image so we copy the link here and then we go where we have the image and we place it there so once that's done we can reload and we see that the link is now the same all over the place so by clicking now we'll still go to the single page it it continues to display the domain content but this time around it has an argument which is the query string of id equals to one so once that done we can now 
proceed at the single page to get that id so we'll open a php section right on top of the in the single dot php file and then we'll try to grab that id and the id is already available in the php global variable get so to get the id we go we we'll declare a variable called id or let's say article id then that article id will have the value of will cast it into an integer so we we'll say we want only integers people shouldn't pass any other thing whatever you pass will convert it into an integer because we want a number our article ids are always numbers right so we we'll change it into an uh, an integer then we access the PHP global variable called get and inside the get now we pass in the query string name what was the query string name that's the id we have here so we pick up that id then we place it in here and we can close the statement with a semicolon so once that then we have already grabbed our articles id so if i var dump it or just echo it like this and reload the single page we should see that id printed right on top here so this is the sign that indeed we're able to get the exact id so to use the database connection we have created and then access the database database management system and now query it and ask it to give us everything related to that article with the id article id so we'll repeat the same thing we did here so we take it then we can clear this one so let's see here i will comment by saying get the article id then include database connection handler and once that done now get the article content so here we are going to prepare another statement this time around instead of us to say they should get everything from the articles and then limit it to five to three we are now going to say get everything from articles and we need to specify where exactly the id is the id we got so we need a particular article so we don't need the order by because this is going to be only one article so there's no need we don't also need to limit how many articles we are fetching because we are definitely trying to fetch only one, one article but we need to be specific what exact article do we want so then we we pass in the the statement where id so where the column id has the value of what value here we can add a question mark because we are dealing with pdo so we add it as a question mark but it means we don't want to pass that actual value here but rather we we'll pass it through the execute function so at the execute function we pass in an array which will contains whatever parameters we need to provide so we need to provide the, the parameter for the id so we pass the id and what what is the value that id will have so that value is now the actual article id we got from the query string in the url so once we have that now we can say fetch so we use pdo fetch since we are fetching only one article then there's no need to specify fetch all so here we are now getting just the article let me name it the article so once we have that let's preview let's just var dump this and see if we have something so we do var dump the article and we can now preview our single and see so we are having an invalid parameter number so a number was not defined number invalid parameter number parameter was not defined okay if i look at the issue i can see now that i don't need to provide the actual string here so if we're having many i just have to be careful in order them in the same order they appear in the where statement or any other section of the query 
so if we save it and reload again we should be able to get rid of that error exactly and this brings us the full content of our article so once we know we have grabbed the article here through the article variable and at this point we could also realize that this article variable is already available throughout the page so it means we can already start using the article variable by using our php shorthand echo we could now say article title we want to echo the article's title here and if i reload this time we are not going to have the first article but the actual article's title which is the mystifying database connection a deep dive into php and pdu so we do the same thing for the article content here we have the content area or oh, this is the content so we just have to replace it entirely with another echo shorthand article then content and we go ahead and we reload it and we can see the little content we have here so next is to display our publication date so we go ahead we use the echo shorthand then we pass in the article then we now pass in published published on so that's the date it was published on so published on the date shows up so we can see that doesn't break the line so here it is great if you can insert a hr to separate to have a line to separate exactly like this so once we have that we can now write the author's name so we still use the echo shorthand equals to article cover sorry the author's name rather article author and we close the echo we can reload to see and we can see the name then once that done we can now handle the image part which is here so we can replace this with our shorthand echo the article then the articles cover and we are good to go so once that done we can reload and see that we have the actual image which is a tiny image and then our articles title then comes in the content and so on and that's it basically that's it so any article we write now and we publish it it will show up at the home page and as soon as we click it it is going to fetch the articles content and display it for us and so on so in the next video let's look at how we can bring the next contents so see you in the next episode thank you for watching